They already got a mandatory plan in head. No one really wants to fight someone like me, and I don't blame them. Do you believe if you fight Anthony Joshua that you knock him out? In a devastating fashion. I'm one champion, one face, one name. I was waiting for this part of the buildup for the Tyson Fury Wild Trilogy. When Tyson Fury accuses Anthony Joshua of being a businessman because he wants to be undisputed champion, which is legacy to me, but Tyson Fury, like I told you before, is not interested in undisputed. Tyson Fury claims Deontay Wilder is the most dangerous heavyweight out there and he's a Spartan and Anthony Joshua is a businessman. He said, I'm fighting the most dangerous guy in the heavyweight division and you might be right, you know, one punch water can knock anybody out in the first round. But the whole thing about the situation is, Anthony Joshua fights top 10 heavyweights. He's fought the most in the division. And when you look at Fury's record, the so-called Spartan, since 2015, who has he fought? Otto Wallin, Schwartz, and the guys before that, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? He's about to fight Deontay Wilder, quotation marks, the most dangerous, man in the world, the most dangerous man on earth for the third time. No Dillian White, no Andy Ruiz. Matter of fact, Tyson, the Spartan Fury, how many mandatories has he had? Then we talk about Deontay Wilder. He agrees with everything Tyson Fury says, and he actually says that Joshua's already making excuses about mandatories. Mandatories are not an excuse. And besides that, you said you turned down a lucrative offer from Anthony Joshua to give Fury a rematch. Now you're trying to say Anthony Joshua's making excuses not to face you after you turned them down multiple times. But then this is the same guy that made the, all those accusations about Tyson Fury cheating. Then when he got on a national platform, he froze up, went back to a YouTube channel seconds after the press conference and brought those lies back up. But he slipped up this time and said, you know what? I don't have any proof. He doesn't have proof of any of this happening. So just like a little kid, Wilder has a hell of an imagination trying to make up reasons why he lost. And what the reality is, he lost to a better fighter and he got destroyed. This businessman, Anthony Joshua, he's gonna fight whoever has the title. And he offered both these guys fights and they both turned him down. And what does Joshua do? Joshua fights mandatory, and not those Schwartz or Waleen, not those type of mandatory. We're talking about top 10 competition. If you call a businessman fighting top 10 opponents, trying to become undisputed, trying to go for legacy, and a Spartan is a guy who fights cherry picks, doesn't take risk, not interested in undisputed because you have to fight top 10 guys to get there, then I'm rolling with the businessman every time. Mr. Spartan wants to talk about Anthony Joshua's competition, his resume. But the guys on his resume are Dillian White, Andy Ruiz. Tyson Fury does not want to get in the ring with these guys because they're too risky. High risk, low reward. No thank you, I'll just fight Wilder for a third time. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone. You know, imagine I'm now set to fight Fury three months away and then two weeks before the fight, he pulls out. This is the type of character I'm dealing with. When he's ready, when he's settled and he knows exactly what he's doing, come and find me. Because I can't be chasing a man that's fighting Wilder, fighting Caballero, announcing he's fighting me twice this year.